Hi, Summit Kids. Welcome back. We're excited to have you for another Summit Kids Sunday. Let's get us something new. Paint a darkness around me. I see a light in you. Welcome back Summit Kids! So I have some exciting news to share. We have soccer camp coming up and if that's something that you want to do, tell your parents and go get signed up. We're going to be doing that online. It's going to be so much fun. you got some great coaches, let me tell you. I might be one of them. But you got some really awesome coaches, so let's get ready for that. Now, it's time for worship. I had two coffees this morning, so I am just bouncing off the walls, but I need Pastor Quinn in here to help me stretch this morning. How are you doing, Pastor Quinn? Oh, I'm ready to do ready some, stretches, some stretches, to do some dancing, Janelle. I'm excited. You're actually leading us in worship today. Yeah, I so am. So I'm excited to see your dance moves because it's just been my silly ones for about three months. So I'm excited to see yours, but you got some stretches for us. So I'm I do. Us do that. Okay, first things first. Put your hands out straight. High fives, give yourself a clap, give yourself a high five. Next, what we're gonna do, take your knee, lift it to your knee or to your stomach if you can. Oh, what a big stretch. That actually is a little bit hard for me. Land yeah. the other knee because we need to do both. <laughs> oh, big stretch. Then we're gonna do 10 big jumps. No, let's do five. Ten's a little bit much. Five big jumps. Everybody bend your knees. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five. All right, I think we're ready. You ready? Go. All right, go. here we go. <laughs>
Wow, well, I hope you had so much fun worshiping Jesus together here this morning. And as I always say, I know that it's a little bit weird worshiping from home, but know this, that you and your friends are worshiping Jesus together here this morning. And that's so... No, we're at home in this particular season of life that we can worship Jesus together even from home. And, and we're thankful that Miss Janelle has decided to join us this summer. And so this is what you have to look forward to. Miss Janelle is going to be doing all of our activities and our teaching moving forward throughout the summer. And another thing that you have to look forward to is that we're actually not going to be doing worship every week. She's got some exciting crafts and some exciting activities planned for you guys. And so if you're excited, let your parents know to make sure that they're checking their email weekly to get weekly updates about what we're going to be doing and and to print off the activities that we'll be doing throughout the course of our summer. But every Sunday at 10 a.m., we're going to have our uh, Summit Kids Summer online on our website. And so check that out. Stay tuned. Stay engaged because we're really excited for what we have planned for you this summer. But for this morning and our last regular Summit Kids uh, kind of kind of. a Sunday morning, we're going to have Miss Janelle teach about Jesus as the beginning and as the end. And so we're really excited to hear from Miss Janelle this morning. So grab a seat, grab some water if you need to rehydrate. Uh, we did a lot of dancing and a lot of stretching. So grab some water if you need it. Grab a seat, put the headphones on um, and, and get engaged because we're really excited to learn more about who Jesus is from Miss Janelle here this morning. Welcome back, Summit Kids. It's so great to be here with you today and I'm really looking forward to delivering today's message. We're going to start with a prayer so if you could just bow your heads, close your eyes, and sit as still as you can for a minute while we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the kids who were able to join us today online and we also pray for those who can't join us, God, whether they're watching online church somewhere else or whether they're not watching it at all. We just pray for them, God, that they would Um, Know that you are with them and that you are in their hearts, God, and that you care for them and love them deeply. We pray that as we wrap up this series of lessons, God, that um, everyone would just really understand that Jesus is the beginning and the end. That it's not just a one-time thing, God, but that it is the end for us as well. God, I just pray um, that you would allow the kids to be still, God, that you would help them to be quiet and that the Holy Spirit would be with them to quiet their hearts and minds as we talk about this topic today. I pray all this in your name. Amen. All right. So for a long time, we've been traveling through the big God story, which is the story of God's love for us. A story where he continues to do work in our lives and he continues to write it today. We're finally in the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation. How exciting is that? Ready to talk about the most exciting news of all? Because I know I am. That exciting news is that Jesus is coming back. But first, let's remember just how amazing Jesus is. At the beginning of the big God story, the first people whom God created disobeyed him and broke their relationship with him. But do you think God left those people alone? No, God promised to send a redeemer who would restore the relationship between God and people. For thousands of years, God's people waited and waited and waited for the redeemer. Then one day he was born. Who is this redeemer? If you said Jesus, you're right. Although Jesus is God himself, Born as a human, the Bible says that he had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Can you imagine what it must have been like for Jesus to be born as a human and to suffer? That just seems so weird, but it happened. And God knew that the only way to restore the relationship with um, his people was for his son to die for our sins. Of course, we celebrate the fact that Jesus not only died for our sins, but also he rose again. He defeated death and went up to heaven. We also know that just because he went to heaven, 
he didn't leave his people alone. He promised to come back. And he sent the Holy Spirit to be our comforter and teacher until he returns. We're living in the time between when Jesus went up to heaven and when he'll return. In fact, if you take a look at this timeline, you can see all of this blank space between Paul and you and me at the bottom. And that's the time that we live in now, a time when the church is continuing to grow and more and more people are hearing about Jesus. The big God story isn't finished yet because we're still waiting for the wonderful day when our Lord and Savior returns to us just as he promised he would. When Jesus comes back, it will be unbelievably amazing. In Revelation, the last book of the Bible, we see how Jesus will look when he returns to his people. What does the word revelation mean? Anybody know? A revelation is like a secret that's being told. Hmm. So if you have your Bible and you can turn there quickly, we can go to Revelation 19, 11 to 12. I'll leave three seconds here. And it says that Jesus will be riding on a white horse with eyes blazing like fire and many crowns on his head. Wow, he'll be dressed in a white robe and the armies of heaven will be following him. What do you think the armies of heaven might look like? I don't know this answer, and nobody can know. Only God knows. But I bet you it's going to be pretty cool. So Jesus came to earth as a humble man, but he's also the glorious God of the universe. In this chapter, we can read some of his names. Faithful and true, the word of God, King of kings and Lord of lords, and the beginning and the end. Jesus will also have a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. Hmm, that's mysterious. He has a name so holy and beautiful that no one knows what it will be. Wow. Jesus is truly glorious beyond what we can imagine. Can you imagine if you had a name that nobody knew except for yourself? Super cool. And Jesus is preparing an amazing place for us that reflects his glory. It will be a city with huge walls and gold walkways. The streets will be made of pure gold. The Bible even lists that there will be precious stones that decorate the city walls. Things such as topaz, amethyst, and more. And there's going to be a crystal clear river that flows from the throne of God that sits in the middle of the city. The Bible also says the city will not need the sun or moon to shine on it for the glory of God gives it light. What gives us light in our world? Things like fire and light bulbs, right? Mm -hmm. Light bulbs and fire, they're just a couple of things that give us light, but imagine if we had no fire and no light bulbs and it was God who gave us light. Hey God, I'm ready for your light. Turn it on, please. Oh yeah, that's right, silly me. We're not in heaven yet, so I still need things like light and fire. I guess I'll just hit the switch again. There we go. Much better. We're not going to need switches like that or fire in heaven because God's glory will give the city all of the light it could ever need. Here is the best part. I know. I, you would think that I've already said the best part, but there's something even better. God wants us to live there too. God will live with us and he will wipe every tear from our eyes. There's going to be no more death, no more suffering, no more pain, no more mourning, no more crying. What? That's so awesome. Since the beginning of the big God story, God has wanted to live in a perfect relationship with his people. And we know God kept his promise to send a redeemer so we could be in relationship with him. So we can know that God's going to keep his promise to return and bring us to live face to face in heaven with him. We can trust he will have complete victory over sin, pain, sadness, and death when he returns. He'll be riding on that white horse as king of kings and lord of lords, the beginning and the end. Jesus says to us, yes, 
I am coming soon. And we answer, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. We answer this way because when we see Jesus in all of his might and glory, we will see Jesus for who he truly is. And when that day comes, we will see ourselves for who we truly are children of the King of Kings, the God of everything, the beginning and the end. Let's all say, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Ready? Three, two, one. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Miss Janelle, for, uh, for your reminder that Jesus is both the beginning and the end. And you know what else this is the end of? This is the end of kind of our regularly scheduled program. Because we're jumping into a Summit Kids Summer. And the exciting part is that we're still going to be here every Sunday online. But we're going to change how it looks a little bit. And Miss Janelle is going to be leading you throughout our summer. And so while you might see me here and there, you're going to get to journey this summer with Miss Janelle, which I'm super excited about. And you know what? We've had a great run of it here on our Summit Kids Sundays. And I'm thankful for all of you that have joined us weekly. Because I believe that we've learned that Jesus loves us deeply that Jesus saves, and that Jesus is the king of the world. And if those are three things that you walk away with from our time together here um, in this social distance season, then those are three really great things to walk away with. But Miss Janelle will be leading us throughout the summer, and so while I might see you every once in a while, I'm excited that you get to do that with her and that she gets the journey with you throughout the summer. As for now, I'm going to sign off. I can't wait to see you guys at soccer camp July 13th to 16th. Um, If you need more details, parents, this is for you. Unplug the headphones now so that the parents can hear. Parents, this is for you. Send me an email, quinn at westlifechurch.ca, and we'll make sure that we give you all the information you guys need. But as for now, I'm signing off. I can't wait to see you guys at soccer camp.